I square C is an acronym for interintegrated circuit. It can also be referred to as an IIC or I2C. I square C was created by Philips now NXP in the year 1982. As a simple serial bus, I square C provides robust serial communication between a peripheral device and a microcontroller. I squared C is the most common and widely used serial bus across most applications, including IoT, consumer electronics industrial equipment, automotive, and aerospace. I2C is a synchronous protocol that allows a master to initiate communication with a slave device. I2C is a bidirectional bus meaning the master can both write to the slave and read from the slave, and it is a serial bus, as well, and has two bus lines serial clock SCL and serial data SDA. I2C has five speed categories standard mode, fast mode, fast mode plus, high-speed mode, and ultra-fast mode. The speed categories range from 100 kHz to 5 MHz. Here's an example of four devices connected to the same I2C bus. The microcontroller is the bus master, and the three slaves are a serial EEPROM, a digital LCD controller, and AA2D converter. R1 and R2 are the pull-up resistors, which are required for I2C devices to communicate properly. This is because I2C protocol works on the premise that the SCL and SDA bus lines are open drain or open collector. It's good to first understand the basics of the bus before the understanding of the read and write transactions are done. I2C device command and control may vary based on device manufacture. It is very important to clearly understand the I2C device data sheet. For reference we have taken EEPROM from Micron. The EEPROM supports page write and page read commands. First, let's look at some basics. Bus not busy. Both data and clock lines remain high. Start data transfer. A high to low transition of the SDA line, while the clock, SCL, is high, determines a start condition. All commands must be preceded by a start condition. Stop data transfer. A low to high transition of the SDA line, while the clock, SCL, is high, determines a stop condition. All operations must be ended with a stop condition. Data valid. The state of the data line represents valid data when, after a start condition, the data line is stable for the duration of the high period of the clock signal. Acknowledge. Each receiving device, when addressed, is obliged to generate an acknowledge after the reception of each byte. The master device must generate an extra clock pulse, which is associated with this acknowledge bit. Device addressing. A control byte is the first byte received following the start condition from the master device. The control byte consists of a 4-bit control code, 1010 binary for read and write operations. The next three bits of the control byte are the chip select bits, A2, A1, A0. Contiguous addressing across multiple devices the chip select bits A2, A1, A0 can be used to expand the contiguous address space. The write transaction. Following the start condition from the master, the control code, for bits, the chip select, 3 bits, and the R slash W bit are clocked onto the bus by the master device. The next byte transmitted by the master is the high order byte of the word address and will be written into the address pointer of the slave. The next byte is the least significant address byte. After receiving another acknowledged signal from the slave the master device will transmit the data word to be written into the addressed memory location. The slave device will acknowledge again, and the master generates a stop condition. Now the read transaction. Random read operations allow the master to access any memory location in a random manner. To perform this type of read operation, First the word address must be set. This is done by sending the word address to the slave device as part of a write operation, r slash w bit set to zero. After the word address is sent, the master generates a start condition following the acknowledge. Then the master issues the control byte again, but with the r slash w bit set to a one. The slave device will then issue an acknowledge and transmit the eight bit data word. The master will not acknowledge the transfer, but does generate a stop condition, which causes the slave device to discontinue transmission.